In Derby, apprentices are fixing a future for themselves. Just let that go. Pump it a bit. Millie's avoiding the classroom in favour of the workshop. Ordering parts and talking to customers. You don't do that in college because you're just looking at a textbook or at a computer. Um, so you just get a proper feel for the job and obviously if it's not for you, then you can learn that. We've got nine learners today and they're going to be stripping engines down, getting a little bit more exposure to tasks that they may not see in their own workplace. More than 100 apprentices train here at Remitz Automotive Centre alongside their paid work with major companies. It's an industry that's crying out for talent. Right now there is a massive skill shortage throughout the country, not just in jobs like this, but across many industries. And people here think that apprenticeships could be the start of the answer to fixing that problem. We have to think very, very differently now as an employer compared to what we did previously. Um, but the message really for, for us, it's all about attraction, trying to get the right numbers of people and the right people coming through so we can fill those vacancies as they arise. Visiting today, Chesterfield MP and Shadow Skills Minister Toby Perkins. The government's just passed its skills bill, an attempt to boost training for over 16s. Toby says schools need to do better at highlighting the benefit of apprenticeships. We have skill shortages in a whole variety of areas and Brexit's obviously exacerbated those. So it's really important that parents and young people see the opportunities that there are within apprenticeships, that, we, that government do more to make it easier. Labour says the number of people starting apprenticeships has dropped dramatically since 2017. And under its own plans, the party would create 100,000 new apprentices each year, 10,000 of those here in the East Midlands. The government says it will boost funding for apprenticeships by 2025 while increasing flexibility for trainees. Remit CEO says without more cash, the scheme will break down. It'd be good if the joined up thinking from government was how do they successfully promote apprenticeships so that they're seen as a, a really go-to option and a good alternative to an FE college or a degree programme. But how do we really get the, the, the funding that's appropriate for some of the programmes and how do we get them changed so that they meet the demands of what an employer needs? With empty positions in every industry, solving the problem won't be a quick job. Will Hollis for GB News in the East Midlands.